In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really good formation out of the Shotgun Spread Playbook. It's the Gun Devil's Offset, and one of my favorite plays in this formation is the Shark Halfback Wheel. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. And we help you do that through giving you four tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube. And we also stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I will be streaming tonight. I wasn't able to stream last night. I was a little bit under the weather still. I'm still kind of recovering a little bit. Uh, I was very sick this weekend, but we are getting back into the swing of things, so we will be streaming tonight and I apologize um, for for not being able to stream as much uh, last couple days but just been really really under the weather so anyways let's jump right into this but again if you're if you would like to get better I would encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen all right shark HB will this play is amazing okay it's amazing uh, you want to put your best route running receiver as long as he has 90 or higher deep route running it's gonna help but uh, I like to put Devontae Adams here on the far right side. And then on the left side, everybody else can just kind of be whatever. But this is an air raid concept, right? A lot of you guys know me for, you know, the, the concepts and running the air raid and some of the things that I've talked about with the air raid. What we're going to talk about today is we are going to talk about this concept, uh, shallow cross. This is a shallow cross concept that we can we get the opportunity to be able to run and I want to talk about it through the lens of a couple different meta defenses that you're gonna face and I know you're gonna face these if you play online especially if you play ultimate team but we're this route combination will beat every coverage in Madden 21 every single coverage you'll be able to be successful against it it will torch man-to-man -to -man coverage for a one play touchdown and we're gonna show you that right now so if they run man-to-man -man coverage and this is just the meta shade coverage outside shade coverage over top this route to Devontae Adams is, in my opinion, one of the best routes in Madden 21. What you're going to see is when he cuts to the inside, he is going to roast man-to-man -man coverage over the top. As you can see right there, he's going to split the safeties right up the seam for an absolute dot against the cover two man. You're going to see he's going to be able to do it here as well. Um, as long as the good old practice mode, and I'm telling you, every video I do, I, for whatever reason, get instant shedded. Let me uh, back these guys off. For whatever reason, they've just completely made the practice mode sheds absolutely insane. But we'll show you this. If he does get pressed on this left side, um, that's the one chance they will have at stopping this, especially if you have like a Stephon Gilmore. But as you can see right there, um, he's going to beat it. Again, you, the key is 90 route running. If you have 90 deep route running, this is gonna this is going to open up for you. Um, next thing is the route to the running back. Now, it doesn't beat man-to-man -man very well, as you can see right there, but what it does do is that's it, it really does force their user to have to adjust because what's going to happen, I can guarantee you this is going to happen. They're going to take the guy on the running back, and they're going to drop him into a quarterback spy, something like this right here, right? Um, and then maybe they'll drop these guys into clouds, these purple zones here on the outside. So what you're going to see is this running back wheel, um, actually, you see how that purple zone follows him? See that right there? So the purple zone is going to follow the wheel route, So which is which is great, right, for, for us. Because what, the, what that means is we're going to know really quickly, especially if people are shading their coverage at 20 yards, this is just a quick pass. If you don't see anything, if you don't see anything out there, just get the ball out to this guy. Uh, I'm telling you right now. This is going to be very, very effective because if nobody's covered him and you do have to kind of time it a little bit, but once it gets, once he starts to kind of make that cut up field, um, you're going to hit it right there and there. You see how he kind of gets up field like that? It's going to allow you an opportunity for better rack yards and, and things like that. Now on the left side here with Valdez Scantling, I kind of just leave him on this comeback route. Um, comeback routes. Don't always beat man, but they do sometimes. It's one of those things where it comes down to route running. If they have a stud corner over there, you know, I would I would probably not throw that. What you could do is you could put him in a curl route if you wanted to. Um, just a simple curl route because you're going to hit that dig right on the inside break right there. As you see, it does beat man-to-man -man coverage. You know, and you could also turn this into mesh. I mean, you could turn this into mesh post very, very easily just by dragging the tight end. Now you have mesh post, and now you have those dual crossers. Uh, and you have that great wheel, wheel route to the running back. 
So those are some thoughts on this as far as it pertains to man. The key route that I want you to walk away with is the route to Devontae Adams and what that route's going to do for your offense, um, specifically as it pertains to beating man-to-man -man coverage. You can see right there, just absolutely roasts it. Now, for those of you guys that haven't already joined my texting membership, I do want to encourage you uh, to consider joining that texting membership. It's completely free to do that. All you have to do is text me. Text my phone number up at the left. It is my personal cell phone number, 812-216-3644. Um, so just shoot me a text um, and let me know you want to be a part of it. But basically my texting membership, how it works every single week, I send out an exclusive high level tip, high level Madden tip, um, typically between 30 minutes and an hour long of content of material uh, where I'm breaking down some type of advanced tactic or concept or tip that you can utilize. And again, like last week, we just uh, released the video on run defense uh, and we talked about how you know, basically we showed exactly step by step how to stop the run from every single formation uh, in Madden NFL 21. So what runs you could stop. We showed you how to stop blast, QB draw, QB dive. Um, we showed you how to stop fullback dive. We showed you how to stop stretch. So it's a full run defense tutorial um, and it's about 45 to, I think it's about 50 minutes long. So again, you know, if you, if you haven't already gotten that, uh, that video, I would recommend you doing that. And there you see sometimes, like I said, with the press coverage, it does kind of get a little wonky, but all you have to do to join it is just text me, text me, text me your name, say, I want to be a part of the texting membership. Or if you have Madden questions, just shoot me a text and ask me your Madden questions. You guys can text me anytime. Um, and, and I will respond typically within, uh, two to three days um you know some depending on the volume i get a day it does kind of i do sometimes get backed up and please forgive me for that in advance but do know that i do read every single text that i get and i do respond um eventually so uh anyways guys i did want to highlight that now real quick i wanted to talk a little bit more about this route combination especially as it pertains to zone coverage because i think this is actually really really good against zone as well we're going to start with cover two um with cover two with most zone, most of the zones, this deep post to Devontae Adams is going to torture. You see there, it beats cover two over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now the trick, the trick with the trick with this route combination uh, is the drag on the shallow cross. You want the drag, but at the same time, you kind of want a slant route. You know, you you, you kind of want a slant route. So what I like to do sometimes is take Vada scaling, put him on a slant, and then just motion him in. Um, or not motion him in. I'm sorry. Take your tight end and put him on. Motion him out and put him on a slant just like so. I find this route combination sometimes works a little bit better against specific zones. One of the zones it works better against is like cover four. Uh, and what you'll see is the safeties kind of bite on the slant, which leaves this uh, this route to Devontae Adams a little bit more open. We'll show you the route combination um, that's stock. It, and the stock route combination does work. Uh, I don't want you to think that that doesn't work. You'll see here, cover four gets over that safety, and it's a late read, but it, it does beat cover four over the top, which is really, really nice. Now, if you were to take, if you were facing cover four, and you were to take that left side guy and put him on a slant route, that's going to do a little bit better of a job. It's just going to get open a little bit quicker, and it's just going to be a little bit more dominant of a cover four beater. As you can see there, we're beating cover four drop over the top for one play touchdown. So that's cover two. That's cover four, and now let me show you cover three. So cover three much will be the same. Um, cover three probably does the best job with this. Um, I personally really like to hit this little shallow cross, a uh, little drag route, because oftentimes you get a lead blocker going right up the middle. Um, and if they're, you know, let's say they're they're shading, they're, they're having hard flats or something, uh, what you'll see with that wheel route is I can pop that in right in behind the hard flat. So they basically have to mabel that right-hand side of the defense. Now on your on your other side, like I said, you got those crossers. Um, this route to Devontae Adams is kind of dicey, as you see right there against cover three. So sometimes the cover three, depending on the, the where, depending on where the um, where the safety is, um, it can kind of it can kind of muddy it just a little bit. Um, and we'll show you that in just a second. But before we do that, guys, I do want to remind you, if you haven't joined the Discord, you can do that by clicking the link in the description. Um, that Discord is basically like a community app. It's an app where we can kind of all talk together in Madden. And uh, if you want to be a part of a, uh, uh, a whole community where you actually get to talk Madden 24-7, that's a great place to start. But what you'll see here is if I pass it down and inside, right when it cuts, I can kind of get it in there, but the window does close a lot more. So what I want you to do on this 
and this is where this route does if you smart route the route then it will go a little bit shallower especially if you're in like cover and you can kind of get it in there um, you, you almost want to low ball this route uh, let me show you this real quick so he comes right in the cut low ball you see right there I can kind of get it in but what I would rather have you do in cover three just kind of like cover four if you wait that backside corner is not gonna it once he gets over it's it's again it's kind of a dicey throw let me let me back off the dogs a little bit you're more than likely more times than not what you're gonna do on this is you're gonna work your shallow cross game right over the middle of the field but I do want to show you this if you know they're running you know they get you got some time but what you'll see is right when he gets on that other side of that that safety he can kind of get over him but you know from spread it's a little bit more challenging um, there's some things you can do about it if you really want to get that one play score but to be honest with you for the integrity of the play I personally would say you know just work on these low ball throws um, and again if you're facing two stud corners like a Gilmore and a um, like a Gilmore and a um, McCordy as we're going against right here you know that's gonna be the combination that they're gonna need you know 90 zone coverage plus maybe like an inside zone uh, coverage coverage thing but you know all in all this route combination really does do a great job against a lot of different defenses this in route I'm telling you trust the in route the in route does work well um, but anyways guys this is just a really good formation I think this is a really really good this could be a great base formation in my opinion um, you've got post routes on both sides you've got crossing routes from both sides you've got um, you know you've got corner routes you've got wheel routes the back tail routes so just a lot of good stuff from this formation so I'm excited to share it with you but uh, yeah anyways guys thanks for watching we've got some more YouTube videos coming later today so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can get access to that be sure to join the discord if you really really want to take your offense and defense to the next level if you want to deep dive um, on an actual actual specific guide I would encourage you to pick up my uh, Madden 21 competitors guide. It has over a hundred pages of material broken down in depth and basically walks you through step by step how to have an absolutely amazing offense and how to have an absolutely amazing defense. We give you the exact play setups. It's my 46 defense and it's my Arizona Cardinals offense, which is very similar to the gun spread. And they both kind of work hand in hand really, really well. Uh, a lot of the guys that have have picked these these guides up have begun throwing for three to four hundred yards a game um, with you know over a hundred quarterback rating every single game that they play so it's a really 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 good uh, guide really really great material for you if you haven't picked it up yet I would encourage you to do that that link is in the description we'll see you guys later today